So we're here on the homestead and we have a mud hole mess. But the entire reason that we have this big mud hole mess is because our well is artesian. Hi, this is Kathy from Creating a Simpler Life. Today I want to talk about our artesian well. A little history. The well was drilled in the summer of 2018 and at about 200 feet down they got about one gallon per minute of water. So we continued to drill and we ended up drilling 680 feet and never really increasing that one gallon per minute. We then fracked it, which we have a whole video on that if you're interested. But when we fracked it, we ended up getting five gallons per minute. We went through that entire summer and the well was wonderful. We put a hand pump on it and the water was crystal clear. And then come the winter, we winterized it and everything was great. It's worked for us great all summer. But now for the winter, we want to take this out because we don't want it to freeze. Later over the winter we went back to do a well check and we discovered that water was coming out of the well and that the well was artesian. What is this? It's filled with water. Touch that bag. It is filled with water. It's squirting out a hole. You getting this? That's where the water's coming. Our well is completely overflowing. It's so the water level must be so high. Should I do that? Do it! Holy cow. Well, I guess we're not going to have any trouble with well water. This is a very rare condition from what I understand. It only happens to about 5% five of, of the wells in this area. So, um, we feel pretty blessed. that We think we have this because we drill during uh, drought conditions over the summer. During the summer of 2018, there was a drought here in New York State and the water level was a lot lower than normal because basically since then our well has been artesian. So what is an artesian well? It's a drilled well that's flowing out on its own accord because it's under pressure. And in the mountains like we are, this happens because the level of the water in the water table or crack that the well extends down to is actually at a higher static level than the well head is. Wells can be seasonally or intermittently artesian based on the amount of rainwater and the amount of snow melt and where that water level is. That static level that's higher than the well head can change over time. So for us, it's been mostly seasonally artesian, meaning that during the summers when there's less water, our well usually doesn't overflow. Well, it looks like our well is no longer uh, artesian. What we're gonna do, this is the first time we're looking at it for a long time since, uh, I don't know, a couple months. We're gonna pull the top off just to see if we can look down and see where the level is. Let's see what it looks like. I just wanna see, oh yeah, it's only about, ooh, it's only just below the surface. Oh, it's only like a, two feet below the yeah, surface. that's it. Okay. So yeah. That's great. So if we did dig this down, it would totally still be our notch even yeah, well. it would be right at the surface. Which... This past winter, one day we were up there and it wasn't flowing. So it's highly unusual that the well is not leaking water at this time of year. So, Rich and I are going to open it up and check it out. If I could see the, the, the top of the water line, I'll be right, happy. Got this ready? Yep. Do you need help? Don't lose that little... Oh my god, it's right yeah, there. it's right there. And literally the next day, the well was flowing again. Oh look it, the well is overflowing today. Oh yeah. So the water level rose. We're really fortunate to have an artesian well, but it is causing us a little bit of problems right now. 
Here's some of the problems with an artesian well. If the flow doesn't stop, there is a lot of water being discharged out of that well. So at five gallons a minute, 300 gallons per hour is literally coming out of our well. That's literally 7,200, 7,200 gallons of water every day or 216,000 gallons a month or 2.6 million gallons per year. Of course, those numbers are based on a constant flow that doesn't change, which we know ours does, but still, that is a lot of water. And that leads to a lot of flooding and a lot of erosion. And over the years, we've had a lot of problems with our driveway. We've had to dig ditches for the water to run off so the driveway doesn't wash away. So it's the end of March and the ditch we dug is working. It is definitely doing its job. Got water flowing in it instead of going down the driveway. It solved the problem that we needed solved for now. The driveway is still a little bit mushy in some spots, but it's working. And this year and, and over the years, we've also had a lot of mud in our clearing. We never really worried about it much, but now that we're getting ready to build our home, this creates a very serious problem. We can't be building a home in a clearing that's prone to flooding. So we are going to do a somewhat temporary permanent fix. What does that mean? Well, we've already temporarily diverted the water away from the pipe. We're gonna just try to divert the water away so that it doesn't leak down alongside the pipe. Some of it's running along the surface. So we're gonna try to divert it away using duct tape and a tarp. Here's the well. And look at that, Richie, now it's not leaking out. Look at the level. Yeah, I know, that's weird, right? Was that like displacing a certain amount of water? Yeah, it'll probably eventually will rise again. Maybe, yeah, I bet you're right. I bet you it's gonna start rising right now, actually. So here's what we got. It did fill up, so we got the cap on just in time. It is dripping. And it's dripping into the plastic tarp. And you can see it's literally running down and now flowing out down here. So at least we diverted it away from running down into the uh, ground alongside the well casing. Now we actually have to take care of that problem and not allow the clearing to flood and get really muddy and cause a problem for the house build. So we could cap the well and not allow it to flow at all, but we really wanna make use of the extra water in the future. And we figure if we're going to be putting in the pipes for the house, we may as well do the pipes for the flowing artesian water as well. So we are in a really fortunate position because when they drilled the well, they had to drill 10 feet before they hit solid rock. So that means we have 10 feet of casing to work with. So the pipes for the house have to be five feet down. That's because our frost line is about four to five feet. So we need to keep those pipes down lower. Now, a lot of people might put the artesian pipe above that, but our well advisor, I guess you'd call him, our well guy, recommends putting it five feet below that. And there's a couple of reasons that that's a really, really good idea. One, it will most likely be an artesian well year round because that means that the exit pipe will be 10 feet below the surface. And I think even during the drought, our static well level was only six feet down. So that's a real big bonus. The second reason that that's a really good idea is because it also helps to prevent a pathway for any outside contamination into the well. And that is something you definitely don't wanna happen. What we're going to do is we're going to put that pipe in, but we're having that pipe temporarily run 
way over to the other side of the building site so that it can't possibly flood the area where we're building. Look, it made like a stream going all the way down there. Yeah, I see that. We could divert all of this in the other direction. That's towards, what we need to do. Towards all your garden and uh, the chickens and, and you know, all yeah. the stuff that you want to put over here. Yep. It'll be a great spot. We always have a constant water supply. And that is going to be great. We have a lot of plans for all that extra water. And some of those future plans are to have the water flow into an underground cistern that we can use a hand pump or maybe a battery pump to bring water up into the garden shed I plan on having. Uh, also using the water to water the gardens and then having it create a duck pond or a little pond for the animals to enjoy and then having it run off into the woods. So we have a lot of ideas on how to use that water that comes out of that on a daily, monthly, and yearly basis. Now we do know that when we're drawing water from the house for various reasons, that we may end up lowering that level in the well so that the artesian flow might actually come to a stop every now and then. But we're not really worried about that because it should build right back up again. We have a lot of water stored in the well. The well pump for the house will be at like 350 feet down. So we'll always be able to draw plenty of water and at a rate of five gallons per minute within a few hours, even if we drew all the water out of the well, it would refill. So we're really excited to, to have this artesian well. We feel really blessed that this is something that we might be able to plan into our future, barring any unforeseen circumstances like earthquakes or uh, whatever that would take the artesian part of it away. But that would give us even bigger problems that we'd have to worry about. So we can't focus on that. We're really excited. We're looking to get the house plans finished right now, and hopefully we'll be getting the land final graded, getting the pipes done, putting in a little well house to get the well pump ready, and getting started on our build this summer. So please like, subscribe, join us.